Something momentous is coming. The most crucial new car of the year is about to be launched, and it's impossible to overstate its importance. Some have hailed its arrival as tantamount to the second coming. I couldn't wait to set eyes on it. But when I did... Run! It's a new BMW 5 Series! Don't look at it! My eyes! Run! Well, I'm afraid my first impressions of the new 5 Series were less than positive. Mr BMW claims styling like this will be all the rage in the future. Trouble is, this is now. Somebody should tell BMW this isn't funny anymore. It's all very well making the 7 Series look ugly because you're probably going to buy an S-Class Merc or a Jag anyway. Thing is, if you're going to make something as staggeringly important as the 5 Series look troubled, you're going to start peeing people off. The old 5 Series was seven years old, but still the undisputed champion of the world. By rights, this car should raise the bar even higher and annihilate the opposition. Instead, rivals are smelling blood. I'll tell you why I think this looks funny. The big bum. They were thinking J-Lo, well, I'm thinking Fat Farm. I mean, take a look at this, Mr Cameraman. It's got loads of intersecting angles. It looks like lots of cars all stuck together at once. And, excuse me, see this, this rear overhang? Well, it's too long for the car. It's too big for the size of wheel, and it makes it look heavy. As for this swage line that you can see running all the way down here, well, it's really heavy. It drags the car down in profile, makes it look too fat. When you get to the front, though, well, actually, that's really cool. Come and have a look. It's almost as if this car is wearing a giant pair of wraparound shades. Very, very funky, very stylish. But it's not enough to forgive that side profile. By God, this thing is going to have to be good underneath. Just like ugly girls have to be dirty. So what can Stuart in sales with the amusing tie boast about if his car hasn't got dazzling film style looks? Well, managing to be bigger and lighter is a neat trick. There's glorious build quality everywhere. Oh. And the benefit of that big bum is a boot large enough for four golf bags. If that doesn't impress your mates, the options will. Like the £880 active steering, which at low speeds will give you full lock with just under a turn of the steering wheel. U-turns are easy peasy. The interior humidity is climate controlled, preventing mucous membranes from going dry, i.e. your snot never goes crusty. Adaptive headlamps are £900 and linked to the steering and light your way round corners a mere 35 years after the Citroen DS first thought of it. Now, keen viewers know how I find the iDrive system on the 7 Series distracting. Well, no such problems with the 5. It has a much simpler Play School version with lots of lovely graphics to help tune the radio or indeed warm the seats. And coolest of all, £900 will buy a head-up display, like a real-deal fighter pilot. But are all these things a fiendish plot of smoke and mirrors distracting me from the key issue? The 5 Series has always offered a consummate driving experience. So does it still. Well, the first thing to report is the sheer loveliness of this engine. It's a 3-litre straight-six in this 530i, and it's as smooth as buttered... Uh, butter. Thing is, it doesn't feel that fast, but crucially, it's smoother and more powerful than the V6 unit they put in the Merc e class. You can get a six speed manual, a six speed automatic, or an SMG semi automatic paddle shift gearbox. There are a few more engines on the way though, and the one to watch out for is the 500 horsepower V10 M5, which should put the frighteners on things like jets and slow missiles. <laughs> Now, this active steering that's so useful in car parks gets much less sensitive when you go a bit faster. Thing is, it takes some getting used to. It doesn't feel particularly numb or artificial, but you do know that something's going on. It's linked to the stability control, and if it senses the car might wag its tail, applies a tiny amount of corrective steering to dampen the wiggle. Theoretically, it means the DSC doesn't have to cut in so early and apply the brakes, which keeps cornering much zoomier. But if all that sounds too intrusive, fear not. You can turn it off. Prices for the 530 will be around £30,000 when it arrives in September. In a nutshell, you have to say that even if it's not very pretty, it is dead brainy. Look, 
you've got to ask yourself, do you want to turn up to a party and say, meet my wife? I know, I know she's really ugly, but she is very clever. Or would you like to turn up to that same party and say, meet my wife? And yes, she is a supermodel. Face it, we're shallow people. Looks are everything. And BMW, well, I'm not sure they've got it right. Ah, but thing is, a murky e class well, it's plasticky and dead clinical inside. A Jag, well, that's for old men, and the A6, it's just old. So are you going to buy a five? Well, you are, because BMW's got you over a barrel. It's still the class leader. Mrs Ugly wins. <laughs>